describe body image as how you view yourself in your own body and how you would compare your body to other people around you? Body image to me, um, I've never been self-conscious myself about my body, but um, to others, body image is about how people see them rather than how they see themselves. Uh, today, I would describe body image as a, a cultural set of uh, values, maybe looks, things that we've, we've, as a society, kind of agreed should be the standard. Body image is the mental image and perception of your own body. Many people view their bodies positively, but there are some that don't. And that negative perception of one's body can ultimately affect those around us. I think it can really affect people in the sense of making them self-conscious and always making them think about uh, their own bodies compared to other people. Um, I think it, it can affect just like from being in high school and like talking to a lot of people, body image is something that people think about a lot. I think it has the, like, the ability to positively or negatively impact people. and. But it, it can change too. Uh, they feel a huge pressure a lot of the time. It, it, it changes the way people act around others. It changes the way people uh, show themselves. And it's overall, I would say it's a pretty negative influence on a lot of people. The idea of body image is different for everyone. But exactly how it affects people can be proven with all the same outcomes. When you think negatively of yourself and you struggle with your self-esteem, it can be detrimental for your own mental health. When you have a negative mindset about yourself, or your body, you can suffer physical repercussions. Basically, the wear and tear of constant stress could affect you biologically. Many teens wonder what normal is, and that spectrum of normal is extremely widespread. Children, adults, and teens alike experience some sort of insecurity regarding their bodies during their lifetime. In society, there are many myths and ideas of what is ideal for our bodies. We are here to tell you that none of that is true. In our society, pornography is a major source for these myths and body image insecurity. Teens are exposed to the idea of a perfect vagina and a normally large penis size as being the only ideal version for these body parts. Dr. Martin Bagley, medical director at SLAM said, body dysmorphic disorder or BDD causes a person to have a distorted view of how they look and they can spend an obsessive amount of time worrying about their appearance. This can include worries over weight, specific parts of the body, and for men, the size of their penis. This can overtake someone's life and cause a great deal of distress. Hopefully, this new study will help reassure those that many m men who are concerned with their penis size and assist clinicians dealing with BDD. Um, well, there's like a few, there are a few different aspects of a relationship that like, um, I would say those three are probably respect, communication, and maybe the ability to like feel safe around someone. I think a healthy relationship is one you feel comfortable in. You should always feel comfortable with that person. You shouldn't feel like you're doubting yourself. Um, it should be like having a best friend that you'd like to kiss every once in a while. Like that's what a good relationship is to me. Um, I think constructive relationships, ones where people can be themselves around others, one where they can develop themselves around others and ones that benefit them. According to loveisrespect.org, a highly trained peer advocate service that offers support, information, and advocacy to young people who have questions or concerns about their dating relationships, communication is a key part to building a healthy relationship. The first step is making sure you both want and expect the same things. Being on the same page is extremely important. They've helped us with some tips for a healthy relationship that we think can help you. These include speaking up, respecting your partner, compromise, being supported of one another, and establishing boundaries. These are only a few water droppings to make the roots of your healthy relationship grow. One thing I've learned from relationships, and not just like a, a love relationship, but through like my family, is that as long as you're comfortable talking to someone, it's a good relationship. You should never be afraid to still express yourself no matter the consequences because your happiness comes first. When you care about someone else, make sure you're also caring about yourself and you're putting your feelings into consideration and not just the other person. Like knowing how to be like independent but still being able to like share part of your life with someone, I think that's really important. 
We sent out a survey to all High Tech High staff members asking about their experiences with relationships and sex. And it was interesting to find a lot of people said being good friends was an important aspect as well as being respectful and having no pressure to do things you didn't want to do. And being able to integrate each other into your everyday lives. I would say that body image is really important to teens. Um, and I think the challenge is, is that as teenagers, um, teens' bodies are growing and developing and changing. And sometimes there's not complete understanding or awareness that your body at 13 won't be your body at 26. So sometimes there's that urgency of teens really wanting to get to their ideal body weight or type. Um, I think it does, and I think that is also kind of dictated by media and perceptions being put out there as far as what is beautiful and what is attractive. Um, I think some of the common things are related to like control, really looking at time and time management and how time is spent and kind of focusing all of the energy on the relationship versus, you know, other things that should be important. like school and relationships with family and things of that nature that teens are often willing to sacrifice all of those things for the love and affection of, you know, their 